Randy, tell me about a time when you had to work with a difficult person. Oh, man. Yeah, I've had a few of those. Um, I'll share with you the most recent one. There was a man named Andy that I worked with over the summer. I was at Intel working with their internal incubator, and my role was as a finance and strategy intern, and really what that meant is I was like a mini CFO over this venture team. And Andy was our lead software developer. Um, he's about 20 years my senior. I was in Portland, and he's like the classic mountain man, full on red beard, works on his truck over the weekends, goes camping, super nice guy, super down to earth, great socially, but when it came to professional things, uh, super hard to get him to stay on topic in our meetings. Meetings were always going late when he was there. He would never meet deadlines. He was always just like pushing him back and wouldn't like tell us ahead of time that things were gonna be late. We would just like expect that it wouldn't be on time. And as an intern, I had very little leverage to get him to comply with the expectations that we were setting forth. We relied on him to design our entire platform that was gonna run our entire venture. And so after a couple of weeks of getting a feel for what kind of a person I was dealing with, I um, started off just by making simple requests just to experiment and see if like by simply asking him to be on time if it would make a difference or like bringing the conversation back in in a meeting if that would actually make a difference and it didn't. And so I asked a few people who had worked with him before what their strategy was and some people had already like thrown up their hands and given up and they just like deal with it but others had success and most of them who had success said that they got to know Andy on a personal level and just decided to make the investment of spending time with him even in professional settings and just to like hear him out and so I started meeting with him I had lunch with him a couple of times and then I wanted him to walk me through the entire process that he was designing he's a very smart guy like he knows what he's doing and so over the course of three weeks, I had probably a dozen meetings and conference rooms with him where I had him whiteboard the software design of this platform that we were developing and just sat there and asked him questions and not so much trying to like poke holes in his logic, but just to like understand and like my job was to translate all of this technical stuff that he was doing for the finance and business development people I had no idea how to understand the te technical side. And by sitting there in those meetings, I gained his trust and we got to know each other and about halfway through the summer there was like this inflection point where we started like joking together and um, he would start showing up more closely to on time than he had before and by the end of the summer um, we had both learned that we were fathers and that we had a lot of things in common with music and he found out that my daughter's birthday was coming up and he said you know my daughter's a teenager now, and I have this pink guitar that I gave her, and she never uses it anymore, but your daughter would probably love it. Do you think that you would want to give her this guitar for her birthday? And so we met up after work one day, and he had a case, and he said he had cleaned it and tuned it and done all this stuff, and it melted my heart. And um, at the end of the summer, he was one of my strongest advocates for getting me to stay on the team. So when it came to making the case to my managers and the people in HR, he was my first contact that I went to outside of my direct management to say, hey, Randy is somebody that deserves to be here at Intel. And all of that came because I spent the time getting to know 